Definitely a very tragic story. Back at home now, a scary situation for an area teen after her car was caught between two power lines, knocked down by the stormy weather. And to top it all off, she just passed her driver's exam days earlier. Meadow Lake residents were in the dark for close to 36 hours, but for this teen, it's a memory that will be etched in her brain forever. Peter Quinlan has more storm came through the Battlefords region, knocking down the main service power line to Meadow Lake. One 16 year old girl we spoke to had the traumatizing experience of driving over the power lines just shortly after they came down. I was driving and then all of a sudden something appeared in front of me and I wasn't sure what it was. And in the end I drove over it and it was three of the power lines. I realized after that it was the power of the main power lines that fell onto the road. So it was three on the road and then three above me and I ended up driving in between them. Tiandra just got her driver's license a few days ago but was faced with an even bigger driving test Monday night. I was going probably about 80 on a gravel road and it was almost like the wind was pushing me like I had to have my steering wheel tilted to one side so that I didn't go off the road. By the time Tiandra finally made it home the storm had already ripped through her family's farm knocking over grain bins, uprooting fence posts and completely demolishing their shed. Pieces of debris were even hurtled into her grandpa's neighboring house startling him out of bed. And I went with the, with the flashlight outside to see what it is. Sure as heck and then I looked well, the, my shop is all gone, everything is, is shattered. And As the Iwan checks walk around their battered farm, they realize how deeply they've been shaken by the experience. It's been, uh, it's been uh, kind of shocking and still in shock a little bit uh, over the situation. I didn't know how to react to it really because I was kind of, so much happened at night. I thought to myself, God. What's going on? Is the end of the world has come here to me? <laughs> so I prayed a little bit and sat and I cooled down. But when I got up in the morning, I looked here, gone. My tears came out of my eyes. And, I... and as for Tiandra, she's just thankful to be around to tell her story. I just kept going and kind of thanked the, thank God that I, nothing actually happened to me. Peter Quinlan, New Cap News.